go guys we have another game here this time we have Giljardi, one of the most aggressive players in the whole game playing as john dark one of the most aggressive civilizations i want to see that really and his opponent playing as the japanese in the color purple it's demo from team liquid one of the most defensive players with a civilization that I love to watch him play. Like, if you haven't watched Demu, go and watch him on his stream. Uh, he streams on, on Twitch, but he also does YouTube videos. He puts some matches there. And I really enjoy watching his matches a lot. I really do. Like, generally, like, every time I see Demu play, it's a, such a defensive style that I really enjoy. I kind of like the opposite of you know politics where he just uh, you know it's really aggressive and he knows how when to finish games really fast where demo is like he takes his time and when he knows he can win he just go for it so it will be very interesting to see you know these two facing each other and you know different play styles it's also uh, a way to add variation to the game you know you don't necessarily need to play the same civilization only one style that's the beauty of this game you can play whatever in any kind of shape or form you can do it if you like if you want you you, you have the option to do pretty much everything it's a, a beautiful sandbox game uh, if you want to call it that way it's like you do whatever it is that you want to do you have the tools and you can play with them uh, by the way I've, I've been working on a game uh, with a couple of friends, it's a tactical, uh, it's just turn-based strategy game, just like Final Fantasy Tactics or something like that, but it's mixed with like some action elements, and it's kind of, it's kind of working, it's it's kind of working, Let, let's see, let's see how it goes, uh, the plan was to show it in the Tokyo Game Show this year, to be honest, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, because Usually, like, in this kind of events, like, you want to choose the most appealing project. And ours, it's 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 really good, right? It's really good. Like, we, we went to Tokyo Game Show last year and we saw, hey, actually, we, we can make this very easily. But the thing is, uh, like, we don't have the the environment ready, you know, the, the assets and all that kind of stuff, just to show off. You don't, We don't really need the environment for for the for the project right now but we do need it for showing off like hey actually this this game looks pretty good hope you can consider us on joining you know the the event but let, let's see let's see how it goes if that project goes like to next stages maybe i can share it with you here like um so, so you can see the progress of the game anyway let, let's get back into this match because we have John Dark, the peasant, working with her teammate to towards that school of cavalry here. We're gonna see an early night coming soon. Demu. It's Diki guy. He already knows this. He already have an outpost here. This pretty much says to me, like, I don't wanna fight. And that's what I was telling you about this defensive style, like he doesn't want to fight at all that's why he he puts a tower here it's like some people would think okay i need some i need some spearman and i need to you know defend with the spearman then it's like no worries mate i have a tower here more than enough to to help myself also the kura storehouse in a really good position where the first farms are gonna spawn here uh first one's gonna spawn in this line next to the town center so he's gonna be having a good time in the early stages of the game the first night is already out so let's see what Giljard is playing with this also emplacements going for this outpost remember without emplacement it will not do much damage here scout's gonna spot the layout of his opponent let's take a look at Giljardi. It's like okay guys i found the gold I found the gold. Oh my god, I found a tower. Let's see what, what he does with a with a knight. Probably will even if you don't kill a villager, like trying to force some idle time can be good for you. 
L now let's see if he continues to spawn you know those knights like if you he wants to play in the feudal age which is really good for the french you know they they have royal knights and all this kind of stuff at this tower it's already it's already very good it's already very very good for him and well john dark going to get the boar poor boar always gets this louder here by by john dark By the way, how, how do you say John Dark? Like, obviously, I don't speak French, so and French actually have a very particular accent and the way they read the words. It's very hard for hard for most people. But how do you say John Dark? If you could explain it to me, like, if you were to read it in English, what are the words you could use to try to mimic as close as possible to the French accent? <laughs> because how, the way I, I say it and the way a lot of people say it is like John Dark, like the the dark night <laughs> or something like that but I, I want to know I, I want to learn I want I want to learn how to, how to say it Mo most likely it will be very hard for me as it is with many people but anyway I, I will try I will try Knight's just gonna stabbing the blade into the scouts already four farmers at this point in the game I love, I lo love to play the the Japanese in a very defensive way. It's already going all food here. 20 on food, 5 on gold. You, you can see the villager count here if you... That second board is gonna get louder here. Take that. And, you know... Like, I, I always put the, the villager count here at the beginning. Just so that you can see how these players organize their villagers. Just because it's very important in this game. Most of the fights, like if you're like me, like you're like the gold plat league, wanna get diamond but cannot. Most likely it's because your villager distribution is not okay. Like you want to support the strategy and uh, think about it in, in the ideal world where you have infinite resources, you can do any strategy you want. Like, oh, I need spearman, I just create it. I need horseman, I just create it. I need a tower, I make it. I make. I need a wall, I make it. I need a second town center, no worries. That's when you're rich. But since you are not, you need to think about, okay, what do I need? Second town center, okay, I need stone, I need wood. Okay, what do I need? Like knights, okay, I need gold, I need food. How many? A lot of them. Okay, I need a lot of them here. Do I have them? No. And is this it's such a hard uh, it's such a hard game you know such a hard game constantly thinking about this it's like Giljardi won't be able to get away with this so he will just push the deer away uh, most likely we'll find the wolf the wolf just gonna deal with the knight wolf is undercover Japanese that reminds me of a friend he has a wolf like he's it's actually 40% wolf but it actually looks like this one 40% is already very like, you gotta already see, like, this guy is not a dog. Look, look at that. One of is joining the party here. Nothing but Onamusha's guy. Nothing but Onamusha's. I didn't expect this. I really didn't. Like, Yoroshiro here to get the, those Onamusha's out. I didn't expect this. I'm so glad I picked this game. Because usually... The Japanese will go for the knights to get, you know, the map control. But the Onamushas makes perfect sense. If you think about it, it's anything that Kiljardi has is, or wants to have is armor units, which is basically the knights, and John Dark as well. So they actually do so much good job and they can kite. Look at how they kite. They're just so good. They're just so good. Well, free farms. Anything that is free, we take those. I love landmarks that they give you free stuff. I don't know. Part of my communist heart maybe li likes that. They would say like it, it like with uh, with business you're like capitalist, with family you're communist, and with friends I don't know what else you are, but uh, kind of like in the middle. Uh, it's a uh, Something I, I hear about the uh, Naval Ravikant. It's a it's a tech um, it's a tech guy from from the Silicon Valley. 
it's an entrepreneur and talks about this kind of things. I, I highly recommend you to uh, to listen. He has very profound messages on everything he does. Everything he does. He talks a lot about it. Uh, one of his most famous tweets or videos was how to get rich without getting luck. He talks about all those things. It's, it's mostly about uh, the mind. It's mostly about the mind and a lot of philosophy that is behind here. Priest gonna... Not gonna do anything. He's, uh, he's already dead. Uh, Onamusha's already there. 11 on the field, so... You, you're just gonna be careful not to lose them. Uh, these girls have 10 attack. Plus 9 against heavy, so it's 19 for hit. So this guy's just having a bad time. Like, if already 8, 10 of them here, one shot, one knight. That's how good they are. Just one shot. And actually, double stable just to get the Onamushas. It's like bot players just focusing on, on those relics. They already have one, one coming home. Hildjardi, one really coming home for him. Aramushas will alert Hildjardi. Villagers not really caring about their life. Managed to take the first two villagers of the game. And managed to take the horseman as well. Look at this. Beautiful unit. Beautiful unit. Such a fun way to play the Japanese. Fast castle into Onamushas. Meanwhile, more horsemen for Kiljardi. He definitely cannot go to the knights because the Onamushas will just do so much damage. And they're very squishy, like, they don't have any kind of armor. They only have 80 HP, so... The only thing that is saving them is... They do have, you know, a lot of move, movement speed. But the horseman is faster. That's the thing. The horseman is faster. The royal knight is actually the same speed as the Onamusha. Second rally going for Kiljardi. And looks like the third relic will go for Demu somewhere here. It's about to, to leave it at home. Managed to snipe. John Dark falls down against those all Onamushas. Doesn't manage to get any experience for her looks like these onamushas will just kite those horsemen and just need to attack be very careful attack and go because if you if, this is not like the mangodai where you can just attack and look at that the the uma bannerman are already here to boost that's plus four range attack and if you it makes sense to me Honestly, it makes sense to me that the Uma Bannerman boosts this kind of unit because imagine you put the Yumi Bannerman, it's, it's like a guy that is really slow and you, you will you will slow the whole army just because of one unit. That doesn't make sense. Crossbow against crossbow. Gotta be careful not to lose the Uma Bannerman here. Meanwhile, Sacred Sight is being captured on the east. Take a look at income per minute. I already forgot. Both guys very very similar, but Demo has a lot of gold now. Gonna get the third Fudashi, Fudasashi, the wheelbarrow, tier 3. Onamusha is just doing a beautiful job here. Oh my god. This is, this is disgusting guys. This is really disgusting. Just running away from your life. Mass Onamushas, guys. We have seen it. We have seen it, guys. Mass Onamushas. I, I want to try this at home. I want to try it. Meanwhile, well, we didn't see which uh, landmark Gilgardi went. It's, it's the kill, kill hall. It's going to put it on food. Potentially, he can go Imperial. Uh, you know, the Royal Institute doesn't make much sense when you don't have many knights on the field. The, we have seen the Guild hall being a valid choice for... A lot of French players lately, especially for John Dark. We don't really see French anymore that often. We usually see John Dark. Blacksmith upgrades coming up for Hildjardi plus one melee attack. Onamusha is just raiding, you know. This is this is beautiful, guys. 
Second town center out as well for Demu. So it's gonna be ahead on the villager count in the future. Granted, he decides to protect. They already have all the Yoroshiros inside the buildings. One in the forge, one in the stable. At the same time, these Onamushas just keep hiding here. It's like Mangurai, you know? Oh my god, these villagers. Ooh, manage to be saved by a bit. A couple of them went down. Why do we see the villager with a special icon here? Like it was from... Uh, that's very strange. Aramusha is going to get down here. Besides, not today, brother. Not today. Nah. Basically, what Demo is doing is with these Onamushas, he's just trying to deny all the resources for Kiljardi. And you can see he's struggling for food. I already have a couple of farms here. Like, he doesn't have access to deer. He has access here, but he doesn't have access to deer here. Well, mole units are gathering here. Just by putting this Onamusha here, he can just deny completely the access of, of deer. Boar is gonna get eaten here by five villagers. Look at the number of Onamushas. It's crazy. And I think it's not really focusing on John Dark. Now there you go. John Dark goes down. That's a... Uh, you cannot age up with John Dark like this. As soon as you engage the opponent, he will just snipe her right away. He won't, she won't get any kind of experience. More villagers going down. Onamusha's working really well for Demu. Gonna get the Uma Batterman, and now the big boys are here. The Mount Samurai. Against all those horsemen. Kiljardi really having a hard time against this composition. This is like the Mangurai, but much better. Like, I, I feel it. I, I feel it that way. Like, and those Mount Samurai com com combined with this, they just be. They're just so tanky. They, they have 230 HP, and the deflected armor makes them so good. So good. Well, crossbows going out for Kiljardi as well as horsemen. Problem is he doesn't have much military going on. You only have four. And then we're already with six Mount Samurai. Getting plus three attack. Upgrading the town center just to start his farm transition. Still have plenty of food in the base. Both players looks like they don't they don't like to wall. Archery range also here. And at the trier. Again, my French betray me, I don't know French. Uh Alba Letier. Uh, they're just so good against everything here. Like against Onamushas, they're really squishy, so you don't really need some extra damage. Like a bunch of them will do just fine. Just fine. So I, I think Kiljard is doing the right call. They will take down the, the Mount Samurai. And they also will take down the Onamushas. Like those cro crossbows are really... Uh, are the, those are the best crossbows in the game. Arguably. Now we can argue like the Onamushas have the mobility here. But... The mode samurai plus seven attack with these Uma Bannerman here. And now John Dark goes in the field. Looks like she's gonna get sniped again. She decides actually I'm gonna run away and she gets finally to level three after 90 minutes into the game. Constantly being bullied by those Onamushas. Plus, plus two range attack coming for Kiljardi. Also getting some textiles. Gonna, it's gonna be really good for him. Despite. Uh, Demus attempt to kill his villagers. He only lost 12, so I mean that's a lot, but I think he defended quite well. Meanwhile, Sacred Side victory approaching for Demu. 
I always forget that John Dark can actually capture sacred sites. Well, Demu saving a lot of resources. Like he's going for horseman himself. Having the Yoroshiro here enables him to get those horsemen really fast every six seconds. John Dark goes down again. And looks like finally killed Yardi will go for a counter attack. But the Shogunate castles directly into the horseman head. You don't want to get nearby the Shogunate castle here. Horseman go for a raid. They only get one hit before they die. Shogunate castle pretty much one hit KO all those units. And now he has to come back. Kiljardi forced to back off despite his efforts to damage the economy of them. He needs to back off now. He cannot really get around this town center. Uh, that, that's really hard for, for the Japanese. Like, inside this, their farm economy. Let's take a look at how many farms he has. 32 already. 1.6k food per income per minute. Not, not a bad amount. Those Onomushas are really paying off. Definitely what the doctor recommended here. Like you can't, you can't go knights when there is so many onamushas. You just can't. You, you're forced to make horsemen, which uh, it's really sad to see uh, when when you are the French. Like you want those royal knights, best knights in the game, but you cannot make them because these units just already counters you. It's just so hard for you. And look at the villager count. Like, I don't think Kiljardi will get, will get away with this one. And probably it's gonna be one decis decisive battle for him to realize that he doesn't have the numbers. Meanwhile, Demo is a guy who loves stacking gold. It's better have more than nothing. And I've seen him before, like, stacking ridiculous amount of gold where... It, it just... You can just use it very easily, right? You can create units, like, you can create 10 knights and you already spent 1000. You can make upgrades, you can go to next age if you get the food. So it's, re it's really good for you. Oh my god, that's so many outposts. That's the bad thing about the Japanese, they don't get access to keeps. But these outposts are quite good, actually. When you have, like, 3 or 4, uh, they kind of compensate. They kind of compensate. Like, you can garrison your villagers and everything. And at the same time, you can... You know, you can defend yourself. Like, having no access to keeps is just a... It's a, just a bad thing. It's a bad thing for you. This is crazy, man. This is... Crazy. Oh my god. What is this? At the same time, Tanegashima Gunsmith going up for a demo somewhere in this map. I don't know where, but somewhere. Is it here? It is here. It, it is here. And unfortunately for Kiljardi, he's nowhere near aging up. He does have the kill health. He has. 1.5k resources, he can age up. Technically he can. You can put the red palace. Get yourself some extra time. He can definitely do that. And as soon as... Look at how much gold Demo has. As soon as he ages up, he's gonna get... All the upgrades here. Like... Elite Onamushas. Elite Mount Samurai. You also have this one. The... 
Don't matter armor. Increase mount samurai move speed plus 10. And obviously the extra Yoroshiros. Like the floating gate. They don't have get access to tight barns, so I don't I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Spring Elite placement on that outpost. Looks like Iljardi got the food from the Gilhal and he's gonna put the red palace kind of like in the middle of the map protecting this this gold vein. A couple of small gold veins here. Oh look at the army of Demer. Just gonna be running away from him. Stonewall's already out for Demu, so he's basically forcing the fight either in here next to his farms. <laughs> either here. Jardi already in the Imperial Age. Have plenty of gold, gonna get elite at the tier. I'm sure I'm, I'm hurting the, the ears of someone with my French accent. But uh, elite crossbows. Elite, cr elite French crossbows. I mean, I cannot just call it crossbow because these guys have so much armor. That they, they're just so good. That they, they don't deserve to be called crossbow, man. Farm transition. Still on the way for Kiljardi. Hate to see that your opponent is already on Imperial. And you need food. But you need also the wood. Probably you could put a Gilhal on wood just to smooth out the, the, that farm transition. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but. Horseman going for a raid here. It's gonna be need much, much more effort. Textiles doing work for our demo. Now Demu is already here. It's actually gonna take down the town center. Incendiary arrows are already there for those Onamushas. More villagers going down. John Dark goes down. Town center goes down. Still, Giljardi has 40 military units. The Red Palace is nowhere nearby. He's already elite horseman, so... Crossbow's gonna get surrounded by the horseman and he taps out. Well played by these two players. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next match.